What's up guys, welcome back to the video. So, so today I will be doing a review of basically everything baseball that I have. Just gotta get my jersey here. I oh, forgot about that. Okay. So basically everything baseball that I have. Um so first we will start with my Yankees jersey. I'm actually wearing a Yankee shirt right now. Aaron Judge. Um so this is a cool base jersey. Uh then I also have this picture of Derek Jeter here. Let's see, just gotta get this picture out. Okay, here we go. Then I also have this picture. This is this is the same jersey right here in this picture. That's my first baseball, which I have right there. Um, so then that's my mitt. Um, I caught the ball and it was just a toss up. So Aaron Judge, even though it looks sixty six, it's upside down. So Aaron Judge here. Um. It's a large 14, 16, so I can wear this thing for a couple of years. And this shirt I'm wearing right now is medium. Okay, so first let's start off with my baseball stuff. Or like what I have practically worn, like the hats that I've worn and have. Those two up there don't count. And they also have that banner thing. For the New York Yankees, I'll show that later. But first, we will start off with the first hat I ever had. This was from the second grade. Um, this was my first year for playing baseball. I did it in Hackensack. This was the original. This looks really old because so I was like sluts. So eight. Yeah, so I was like seven or eight when I got. When I had this hat, and it actually still fits fine. Um, not the best, but it doesn't fit horribly. So, there's that. This one here, okay, this was actually my brother's, I believe. So, let's toss that one out of there, but I do like that. This is a coach hat that um, I haven't worn much at all. This is just another hack and sack baseball hat. <sighs> this is another, another hack and sack. I don't know why I have two of the same. I think this, I think one of them is actually my brother's. Or maybe just year after year, it's basically the same color or whatever. Yeah, this one I sort I think I bent this one to be like that, and this one just sort of like that. Um, oh yeah, I have, I have another hack and sack baseball, like all-star hat. In the base, uh, downstairs. Now, next, um, this was my... So, yeah, my second or third year, um, this one has, like, this, uh, uh, this one has the netting so that, like, your head could breathe while you were playing so you didn't get super overheated. That's the same as that one there. It's blue. I've basically been on blue teams my whole life. This one's pretty beat up, actually. Actually, I haven't watched this one in a while, so... I don't know why I put that on my head, but I did. Uh, yeah, it's pretty old. Just... Crap. Uh, okay. Uh, I still have a lot of stuff there. This is just my hats. I have another two hats. Actually, I have another three hats downstairs. But this is my flat um, Yankees cap. The flat brim. It looks like a pinata. I look like a pinata with this thing on. Uh, so, yeah. Now this is my. That's that's also like that's normal. That's like the high profile. This one is low profile, so it's better. This is semi flat, I you could say, because it's not curved like that, but it's not flat like that. So it's semi flat. Um, I so I got. My grandma sewed this patch on for me a little while ago because I can't sew. So that's also why it has this little bump here, but it's fine. So New York Yankees World Series Champions 2009. This hat does not look so ridiculous on me, thankfully. It like pops up a little bit on my head, but I, I could see my, but I I could see people just walking around just like just a normal day with me wearing that hat, not just like a pinata threw up on my head, so. <laughs> Next, the one out of the two video games that I have. True Play Baseball 2002. That's the game that I've been playing over there. 
I saw the Yankees poster right there. Here we go. So, the game is still in the Xbox, but just basic uh, case. Um, now, here are some of my most prized possessions of baseball-ness. Um, you be like, why is a fidget spinner in this prized possession area? Because, uh, well... This was one, I got this at my first ever Yankees game, number one, so it's very special to me. And number two, uh, it's a Yankees fidget spinner. I'm a huge Yankees fan, so it just sort of fits. I got this at the Yankee Stadium, so uh, that's why this isn't my rod. I don't really spin it much, but when I do, it's, just, it's a little throwback to the past when they were really popular. Okay, here is a... Uh, Okay, um, this is a Yankees baseball that I got at Models. It's not very special, but it's still really nice. This sits up there for its whole life. Official Major League Baseball. This isn't these. This isn't signed by anyone or anything. Actually, I do have this one ball that is signed. I didn't get it signed though. My friend did. <coughs> Here we go. <coughs> it's a it's a signed ball by a Met. Uh, my friend gave it to me, so. It's a pitcher or whatever. I don't know. If you guys know that person's, uh, initial search signature, then tell me who it is. Uh, okay. Now, uh, so I got these, I got these three done. Now let's go to this one. I'm going to save the best for last here, but not the least, okay. Um, this ball is a soft, like, softball size ball, I guess you could say. Oh, that was, that misfired. It's like, okay, well, I can bounce it off this window. It, it's just, it's like, that squishy, so I can just bounce it off the window. Uh, or this corner over here. So, yeah, it's a Yankees 2009 ball. not focusing but right there it actually says 2009 it's not focusing though yeah but it says 2009 on there New York Yankees nice blue and white baseball okay I'm gonna, now for this ball I don't know nope I asked my grandma and grandpa hey do you know who gave me this baseball and they were like no so whoever gave me this baseball, it's a mystery to me. Uh, one of my family members who did give this to me is watching. Write in the comments that you did because um, I really do want to know. I've never used this ball. It just always sat. It just always sat there, and I and I take I took it down and like pretended to throw it like it's like. I got my fingers on the seams and just threw it like a pitcher. But I no, I didn't exactly throw it. I just did the movements. So, um, so as you can see here, New York Yankees World Series Fall um, Champions. So, so is that there? And then on here it just says World Series 2009 Rawlings. This these logos. Um, I think maybe someone went to the game and got this ball for me. Or, like, I was born. A yeah, because I was already born. Yeah. Because the World Series is, like, in November. And I was born in September 2009, so. October. September, October, November. Yeah, so I was, like. September. Yeah, so I was, like, two and a half months old. So I already existed when this happened, so that's good. But again, I was since I was still still only like two and a half months old, I was sleeping, probably by the time that they won. But yes, I was alive when they when this did happen. So I guess maybe someone brought this ball home to me once, and it's been in my room ever since, or my old room, and now my new room. 
ever since. So now that honestly always holds a special place in my heart. That's only the second. What's my first? My first ever baseball. It's in this box. It was, that was three dollars at Models. I wrote the date and everything. So um, here we go. So this was very short. This was just a toss up from the Tampa Bay Rays, but this is still beautiful. So it's a little scuffed there. It's a little smudged on the major for a major league baseball. Rawlings has a little smudge there. And some smudges all around. Then boom, bat mark right there. And I hit the dirt. Still there. I don't really like running my finger over it because it'll just destroy more. Then it has a grass mark right there. Yeah, then it has a another bat mark and then that MLB is really smudged. So for the first baseball I think that that I got this was a very special baseball. And I always just kept it like that since since I was moving to this new house at that point. I was staying at my grandma's with my family. And my cousins were also coming. So yeah. Um now so this was Monday, July. This was the day before my cousins came. Monday, July fifteenth, two thousand nineteen. First baseball. This will always be. And then I put this into a thing like the authentic look. So this piece here, this major league part, goes to the authentic part here. You can see, look, it goes authentic right there. So to show that's in a, um, an authentic ball. Then here it has a mark of a pro because right there, because right there is the mark of a pro, basically. So that's perfectly arranged in this. So I always put it in that way. And then I'm going to slip. And now this, this has to go back in the dark because I don't want anything wearing off it. It just sits in this dark corner right here. sits there. Depressing, but it's for the best. I figured out this is actually a 4, not a 4S. Oh yeah, I also got it on a 7. So, here. No! <laughs> Off of the lad stuff now. Um, now to the cards. Okay, these are all NASCAR. Na I'm sorry, but NASCAR, this is a Actual piece of the flag. I didn't cut that. That was her retired flag. NASCAR, you don't belong with baseball. I'm sorry. Uh, now, these are all my... Let's go to the baseball cards here. I have like 25,000 of these things. And I'm still collecting. Okay, so here's one of my first right here. It's a Babe Ruth whatever card. My friend said this card was fake, but honestly... It's a card. I was I was happy to have it. Uh, that's why Babe Ruth was my first ever favorite player, even though I was nowhere. He died way before I even existed. So here we go. Uh, Derek Jeter, hundred fifty years of baseball. Um, yeah. So now it's hundred fifty one. We can get the season back running. This is like an um. Okay, um, here. Miguel and Dujar, I don't really know. But, uh, I just want to look at the stats or something. The camera doesn't want to focus, I'm sorry. You can look at the stats. Dylan Betensis or something. I don't know. Those are people that I haven't really ever... Derek Jeter and Babe Ruth I've heard about, but those last two I've never really heard about. Is that the one? Yeah. Okay, uh, here is Brett Gardner. Uh, this is Chad Green here. Pitcher, I think. Yeah, pitcher. Now, this was, my friend gave me this Aaron Judge card since he's a Mets fan. That's why it's a Mets sign ball there. Um. Here we go. I'm only gonna go through the Yankees card, so I'm gonna go through a couple of those. But that's not, but I'm not really doing. Oh, now Jordan Hicks. 
Ah, uh, this is like a sticker. That's in another Android so thing. Gotta make sure it goes to that side or else it doesn't really count. Okay, now this is the card that I got for Aaron Judge here. That I got myself. Okay, the next one is very cool. So, it's a nice Glaber Taurus. Oh, and it actually, it, and that one's actually numbered too, so that means it's even more special. I want an Encarnacion here. My Seattle Mariners card, even though, even though it's Seattle, he now plays for the New York Yankees, so I, I'm going to count it as Yankees of the current day. Justice Sheffield here. I rolled this Chapman. Yankee Stadium. Okay, so I, I'm going to show you the places that I have sat before. So, I've sat behind home plate once for my first ever game. Um... Wait, why does it say East 2009? What? Oh, yeah, this is the new Yankee Stadium in 2009. Yeah, it was built then. Okay. Here, um, last couple games I sat in this area. In this area near the foul pole. And that's where I sat throughout my games. When I, when I saw the Yankees play. <coughs> I don't even know when this is but it's probably a while ago 2015 only guy looks older than 2015 no offense to him though okay now the glaber torres card it's 20 it's number 25 and 76 it's beautiful it's not one of the most beautiful cards I have. No doubt about it. It's beautiful. Um, so. And these are all my other cards. Just a bunch of. There's whole Jose Altuve. He's like 5'5". Five five, so. Then I got all these other bunch of cards. But that's that. That's still not it. And then I got this thick double stack right there. But that's still not everything that I have baseball. So that's sort of ridiculous how much baseball stuff I really do have. I just gotta put all these cards back here. So I'll do that. I'll put them back into the neat piles later. Now, my baseball trophies. Even though they mean literally nothing. Okay. So my first ever one. I think it was this one, yeah. I never actually did T-ball, so it was always pitch to me. Not kid pitch. It was, yeah, last year was my first year of kid pitch here. Uh, Hackensack Baseball, game MVP. Just a little bobbly head thing. I was very excited to get that one. I think that one was 2016 and 2017. But here, it no, that was 2017. Yeah, so those were both, so. Yeah, it was 2017, so I was like 8. Yeah, I was like 7 or 8. Um, Hackensack Baseball, 2017. Yeah, I was 7. Look at that. Even though this thing has a plastic bottom here, it still looks really nice. Mostly because it's just been on a shelf its whole life. Now, 2018. This one was one of the coolest ones, honestly. Because instead of just a bobblehead or a giant statue, it's this. Hackensack Baseball 2018, and now ha Baseball of Hackensack 2019. It's basically just a ball and a cup, a smiley face cup. And that is literally... <coughs> <coughs> <It's> <coughs> Sorry, I have more. I checked my temperature. I don't have a fever, by the way, so I'm clear of that uh, for now, hopefully forever. Uh, that's all my baseball stuff. Goodbye.